You squat down your knees and you guys are gonna have the grip in the collar. Okay, so the outside grip, you'll be in the collar, like this. Okay? So pay attention, guys. Sometimes, you guys are gonna end up with your knees super low on the hips, kind of like a Z-guard position. Of course, here is not good, right? The person has way more leverage to smash your leg and you start to pass, go for it. You start to smash your goal leg and start to pass. But I want you guys to understand how you get the high knee shield when you end up with the Z-guard, right? The most of the time, when you're gonna end up here? When the person has a regular half and you're here, trapped on bottom, right? The person has underhook and head control, and you are trapped here uh, in regular half. Right? Look how my back, my back is flat on the floor. I don't have any space to place my knee on the way. Okay? I'm going to start to bridge over my shoulder to create a little room just to place my knee here. And you guys are going to end up in this position. Okay? When you have your knee across. Okay. When you end up here, guys, in this regard, make sure don't go your knee, don't go all the way through like this. Okay, because it'll be easier to your partner smash your leg. You wanna have your knee in the middle line here of your partner body. And look at how this guy here, look, turn on me. So it's flat, my toes is flex, but it have a little part outside, like this, okay? The most of the time your partner's gonna have your collar, and it's probably gonna pull you close, like this. To avoid the person hug your head, you need to make this grip inside. Okay, the best to do is break this grip, but sometimes it's very difficult, okay? Sometimes the person's gonna have such a strong grip, and you're gonna feel like you're gonna waste a lot of energy to try to go in here, and then the person starts to attack your legs, and start to, to attack the pass, and then when you see it, you are here trying to break the grip, and the person already on your side, right? It's better you protect your head, right? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna have a strong frame in the collar, high grip in the collar, and I go inside, right here, okay? So now pay attention, apply pressure. First thing I'm gonna do, look at how my bottom leg control his leg, my toes is on the floor, right? My tip toes on the floor, controlling his bottom leg. I'm gonna extend my hips and move my chest away. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create more space. So I go here. And now my knee starts coming up. Now I have a high knee shield. Now I have a way better control. Look at how if he's trying to hug my head, he cannot look, he's far away. So look at now how my elbow is inside my knee and my knee is up behind his shoulder. It's not cross anymore, right? It's more up in the shoulder. I have a two hooks. I have the bottom hook and the bottom leg, and I have a hook here in the back, in his back. Look how this guy here, look, is on the back, okay? Look how I'm not flat, I'm, I'm sideways in my back, okay? So what happened here? To create opportunity to sweep it from here, it's very difficult sometimes, and sometimes it's very hard to uh, replace your bottom leg, okay? When the person be having your bottom leg, it's very, very difficult to replace your bottom leg. You guys need to have a, a, a positions here to get underneath. That's what I'm gonna show you guys, right? So here I have a high knee shield. I'm gonna go to the key guard. The key guard is very uh, common seeing no gi to attack the legs, but you guys are gonna use the key guard today to get a single leg X, okay? So my grip, the, the grip I'm looking for, look, my hands is here. The grip I'm looking for is this grip on the knee. Sometimes, when the person is heavy and they, you don't have too much material here, you need to bring the person up first and then you get a grip, okay? When your partner going down, you have the grip, look. I'm gonna grab outside his knee and I have a very strong grip here, okay? What I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna duck my elbow in and I'm gonna start to go over my shoulder and I'm gonna use my, my knee shield to kick him back. I want him let go this grip and pose the hands on the floor to create off bounce. I'm gonna do this, look, this. Okay, look at how I still have my bottom hook in the leg. I'm in my shoulder, okay, my elbow is in, and I push him forward. If you guys see here, he's off balance, okay? I'm gonna use this off balance to get underneath. I'm gonna start to drag him back with the collar, and my bottom leg, I'm gonna slide behind his leg. My knee, I'm gonna slide behind his leg. When I start to drag him back, my knee is gonna start to get in, and I'm gonna use my knee to bring his leg to my chest, like this. If you guys notice, look how my leg is still outside, but I have a nice and pinch in my knees, like this. From here, I start to use the collar to push it away, and I start to step in the hips. So turn this in. Look how uh, here my leg is still outside, and I need to bring my hook in. Okay, what are you gonna do to bring my hook in? Make it... Normally, the person is gonna grab the collar like this, to try to stay in. 
I'm gonna push him away with the, with the foot and the hips, and I'm gonna create the opportunity to get underneath. And now I have the single leg X, okay? So guys, it's important to don't hang here because the toe hold, right? If your foot's in the air like this, the person go, can go toe hold, and because your leg is underneath, your leg can get trapped and you can tap in this position. So make sure you do this uh, as quick as possible and as tight as possible. Try to connect your hook on the, on the hips, don't leave your foot in the air like this. Connect your hook because here you save. You push your partner away and you get a single leg X. Okay? So one more time. So going again. So he's head on top. I end up more like a Z guard, right? When my knee is in the line of his hips, he's pretty much smashed my leg. If I hang here too, like uh, for long, he's gonna pass my guard, right? I need to be able to go high in the shield. I stretch my hips, I move my chest away to create more space. I start to go high in the shield and I block using my elbow, okay? I, now, I'm gonna bring him close to me to make this grip. Okay, I need to break this grip on the knee. Okay, now I'm gonna create the off bounce. My elbow go in, I post in my shoulder, and I push in there. People who like to go uh, to the dog fight position here or under hook in the back, you guys can just sit up, look, and you have the half guard here in this position. It's the other option you have if you wanna, if you like to go to the coyote guard or the, the dog fight position, okay? From the single leg X, when I get here, I'm going to start to slide my bottom leg underneath, behind his knee, as I drag him. I start to drag him, put my knee, my knee go in, and I use the collar and my legs to bring him over, this way. When I get here, I step, and I push him away. You guys can push on the hips or close to your partner arm here. Make sure you don't rip, right, don't cross all the way, because in the IBJJF rules, you guys are going to be disqualified. So push your partner away, and create your hook and you have the single leg X. Okay? So one more time to the other side. So you have the Z guard, you push your partner away, and you go high knee shoot. You get a grip on the knee, okay? So from here, guys, the reason why I don't carry too much my head in this position is because my knee's on the way, right? I have a strong knee shield, and I have a very strong frame here, very strong shield. If he's try to hide, hug my head, he's far away from me. Different than here. Here he can hug it. So I need to protect my head. Right here, I can get this grip on the leg. Duck my elbow, go in my shoulder. From here, I'm going to start to drag him and pay attention to my left knee. My knee starts to bring him up. And I get here. I step on the hips, push him away, and hide my hip, hide my foot. And I have the single leg legs. Okay? Let's get here. Then I'm going to give you guys two options from there. Two guys attack from there. Okay, let's go, one, two. Sometimes you guys are going to end up when the person with the knee on the floor, but the person is not going to hang here too much, okay? The person is going to try to grab her collar, then most of the time, to, have a, to make a, a very good grip and try to put the self up. Because from here, I have a way more leverage to escape from the single leg X. Here, I cannot escape. I know it looks very good to be here, like a look is very comfortable when you're on top, but it's not good, right? If you stay here too long, the person you're going to create off balance, he's gonna sweep you or he's gonna take your foot. Okay, sometimes toe hold, sometimes straight ankle. If it's no gi, he'll hook the most of the time. So it's not good hang here when you when you are in your knees. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys one option if the person hang here because sometimes the person get a, get tired on, on top and they hold in the collar and just stay here, stay still. And you guys need to know how to create off balance from here. And I'm gonna give you guys uh, a very similar option when the person will stand up, okay? With the same grip in the collar. I want you guys, the side of your legs is stuck on top, you guys gonna grab the collar, and you guys gonna face your partner. You, if you run away like this, you are telling your partner, take my leg or go to my back, right? You need to be able to face your partner if you wanna defend it, okay? So, you know what First thing I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna create this off bounce. I'm gonna push him a little bit this way to make his foot go off the floor and I go underneath, exactly the same way. Because he has my collar now, I'm gonna grab this leaf. Okay, I'm gonna grab this leaf. Now look at what I'm gonna do. I like to grab the collar, 
Uh, just ask Philip now, he likes to go double sleeve. Some people like to grab the other sleeve. So try to see what fits better in your game. Okay, I like to grab the cause. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create action reaction. I'm gonna push him to make him push me back, okay? When I push him, I'm gonna create room. I'm gonna step this foot here, like if you're not flexible, don't worry because it's not about flexibility. It's about action reaction move, okay? From here, if I post my foot from here, I need to be flexible. But the way how I'm gonna explain to you guys, it's not about flexibility, right? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push him, and when he starts to come back, I'm gonna place my heel on his biceps, right here, to have an extra power to sweep him to the side, okay? So I have my foot still on the hips, I can have the grip in the collar, I can push more close to his iron pin, like this, or I can push on his hips. I'm gonna push him that way, when he starts to come back, I step, like this, and then I sweep him. I use the momentum to twist my hips to the side, and I use this leverage above my heel to sweep him to the side, like this. Okay, so it's a very powerful sweep, really hard to defend. Because if you guys notice, he doesn't have the pose. Right? Because the leave, the, the, his hands is compromised with my grip, it's very hard to hand pose, the hands on the floor. Okay? The easy way to come up in the sweep is to stand up in base as your partner fall. Okay? So look. Simple way, okay? So the most simple way is this, okay, push, when it's come back I step, when I sweep, I use the moment to get the problem. okay, if you, you don't get stuck. People who like to do leg drag or more technical, if you're more technical, if you have more experience, I also stood this position today, and I like this, look, I push him, I step, and I sweep. When I get here, I have a sleeve control. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay, lay down back to break this grip and the collar, and I'm gonna start to go here, look, underneath. So I still have the same control. I go here, and I'm gonna start to go underneath, like this, and I'm gonna control the leg. If you guys notice, I have a kind of like a, a, a leg drag position here, right? I can switch to the sleeve, now look, when I have the leg drag, I can switch to the sleeve, because now I have the foot and the arm trapped. I have everything trapped here. I post my hands and I stand up in base. You look how I have the sleeve trap. I come up and clear and I have a very good control against him, like this, okay? So again, I push him, he's fall. I'm gonna break this grip, lean back, break the grip. Now the leg, when I lean back like this, look how the leg is gonna pass in front of my chest. I go underneath and I drag this leg. When I drag, I come up and I, I use my elbow to trap the leg. Look how the leg is trapped. And now I grab this leaf. I pulse my hands and my leg is free. Leg. Now I come up and toss. So from here, so lately you have, a, you, uh, I have been seeing a lot of people use this leaf to pass the guard. Why? Because the person cannot make grips. Right, like when you're holding, it's really hard to the person make grips. And if you guys notice, this side right here is compromised because the leg is strapped and I have the arm. It's really, really hard to him uh, defending his head. So this side is compromised. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna long step. From here, look, I have my knee. I'm gonna long step and I let it go this way. And I pass, straight to the side, okay? So you come up in a very good position, very hard to him defending, and you attack straight away, okay? So it's, it's more technical, of course, but it's a position who has, you have a more control. When you just stand up on top, you need to, you, you're gonna face the guard. You need to deal with the guard of your partner. You know, if your partner have a very strong guard, guard uh, can be a quite difficult to pass, you know? So the, the way how I show you guys right now, is more technical, but it's less change to the person sweep you back or work a submission on bottom. So we're gonna push, I step my heel and I sweep into the side, like this. When I get here, I'm gonna break the grip. Look, I can use my heel to push it to break the grip. Now I start to go in my back. Look how I still have a control. I have control about everything, right? His legs off the floor. There's no way to get on top. I go in my back. Now look, I go here. I drag the leg first. I start to trap his foot and I control the sleeve. Now this, that, my side is free. My hands is free, my leg is free. I come up and I trap the leg. Look how the leg is trapped here. Right, I have the sleeve is chill, the leg is trapped. He doesn't have a frame. He might try to frame me with this uh, 
grip here, but it's not enough to stop my move. Okay? If I can hug the head, I hug the head. If I cannot hug the head, I grab the collar. Okay? If I grab the collar, my elbow goes to the floor. If I hug the head, I just drop in a long step. When I get here, I start to let go of the sleeve, and I go to his bottom leg. And I have the pass. Okay? If I grab the collar, I grab the collar, elbow go to the floor, forehead go to his shoulder, and I go to the bottom leg. And I pass. Okay, so that's the option number one. The option number two, if he's stand up, okay? Maybe he's gonna grab her collar and stay down, knee down. You guys wanna start to get here. Before you grab the sleeve, the person stand up. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna grab his knee, look how my, my, uh, my grip is gonna be facing up, to don't let him break my grip. If I grab it here, he can break my grip easily, right? So remember the what end to show you guys, right? So this grip on the knee, palm facing up, try to break my grip. Look, is it stuck there? Now when I shift my hips, look at the detail. The main detail is this way. I'm gonna use my biceps to sweep this leg this way. Okay? So pay attention. But of course I'm not gonna let it go the grip. When I shift my hip to the side, I sweep him. Okay, now you guys can do the same thing. You can go in your back and you start to leg drag. Look. Okay, now you don't have this leaf, but you can come up and you have the leg track. Okay? It's gonna be very difficult to finish the leg drag pass, okay? Because look how his knee point this way. I feel like this, this side right here is a better option. Okay? So one more time. Then you guys gonna do it. So knee down. First you have to do is create space to get under the leg. Right? And I get a grip. Is it stand up? I'm gonna grab it right there, right, on the knee. I shift my hip to the side, and I use my biceps in the same time. His foot go off the floor, right? I start to go in my back. So I lay down on my back, look how I drag. Look at my grip, strong grip here. Come up in my elbow, stand up in base, and I have, then I go. Okay, get it. Uh, if you wanna do, is standing with the foot in, in the biceps. If you have a long legs and you, it's easier for you to step in the biceps, it's fine, it's up to you. Okay, you guys gonna say again or you guys got it? Got it? Let's go, one, two.